Well, it's finally fall here in Phoenix, which means it's comfortable for me to sit out here and talk to you in my backyard. And I'm actually looking forward to the cold weather in Minneapolis, St. Paul, November 8th and 9th, the weekend that I'll be going there and presenting two workshops. The first workshop is Speak and Spell, and it's about speaking and pronouncing, or actually fingerspelling and pronouncing foreign names and words. And the second one is about vague language. <laughs> My dog is right here in front of me. Um, why should you come to a workshop about vague language? Well, if you're an interpreter who believes that interpreters interpret not just words, but social interactions, you should come to my vague language workshop. If you're an interpreter who believes that people say what they mean to say, and that uh, it's not always up to us to figure out why they say it that way, and you respect consumers' res relationships with each other, and you're there to promote independence and full engagement with the participants, then you should come to my vague language workshop. Vague language is real. It's casual. Sometimes it's formal, poetic, like songs and public relations materials. It happens in courtrooms. It happens between co-workers who work together a lot, lot of time. Um, it happens in video relay service. It happens in other work environments where people, a group of people or a lot of people work together and they have their in-jokes and they have their little things that don't make sense to us, but they make sense to them. Those are all parts of vague language. And in the field of interpreting, there has been some literature about using vague language for saving face, politeness. And there has been a little bit of literature suggesting that interpreters should make the implicit explicit. And this is true sometimes, but there are times when the implicit is there for a reason. Uh, if I use vague language with you, it means that I respect your intelligence enough to know that you can figure out what I'm saying. If the interpreter makes everything that's implicit explicit, then for one thing it seems like the interpreter's saying that they doubt the intelligence of the person who's receiving the message. And for another thing, they're not respecting the relationship that the two interlocutors have with each other. So vague language is a really important part of everyday speech, of writing, of communication, of social interaction. So it's really an important part of what it takes to be an interpreter. It's an important part of the interpreted event. So I hope you can come to this workshop. I'm writing my thesis on this workshop. Actually, no, not on this workshop, but on vague language. And I should actually be done with that by the end of November. So when I see you, I will have written pretty much all of my thesis. I've already done a lot of research on it, and it's very interesting what I've seen and what I've read. So I look forward to sharing that with you. See you then.